The rubber production in Malaysia is 1.126 million tons in 2005, 8 million tons in 2010, and 0.722 million tons in 2015. Calculate the index number of rubber production in 2015 based on 2005. So we see here what is given. So 2005, it is 1.126 million means 10 to the power of 6. And then X and 2010, we don't know, it is X. And then in and then in 2015, it is 7, 0, X. And in 2015 here, it is 0, 0.722 million ton. So calculate the index number of 2015 based on 2005. So we know that P15 divided by P05 times 100 is equal to index because it wanted to find the index so do we have price in 15 and price in 1005 so yes we can see we have this one and this one so we can just calculate the index so index is equal to uh, price or this is not the price this is the number so it doesn't matter the number so instead of using the unknown p you can use q so uh, quantity in 15 over quantity in 5 times 100 or quantity in 2015 is 0.722 times 10 6 divided by this one is 2005 is 1.126 times 10 6 times 100 so we get sixty four point one two. So this one is sixty four point one two. And the value of X given the index number of rubber production in 2010 based on 2005 is 83. So base is obviously divide. So the index is equal to uh, quantity in 2010 divided by quantity in 2005 times 100 is equal to 83. So this one is not 2016, it is 2010. Alright, so here we can just substitute. If you want Q in 2010, which is X, which is equal to X over. So Q05, quantity in 2005 is 1.126 times 10 to the power of 6 times 100 is equal to 83. If we want x, then we bring this two to the other side. So you see here, divide will multiply and multiply will be divided when we change place. So x is equal to, if you want only x, 83 times 1.126 times 6 times 10 to the power of 6 divided by 100. So we get... Zero point nine three five million ton. So here we get zero point nine three five times ten to the power of six. The index for the rubber production in two thousand twenty based on two thousand five. If the index for rubber production in 2020 based on 2010 is 105. So it's given the index of 2020 based on 2010 is equal to 105. And so it wanted us to find what is Q20 based on Q5. So here this is what we wanted to find. So we need to have... Uh, Q20 and Q5. So here, we can find Q20 from here. But then we have 10 here. This is a problem. So what we need to do is that since we want 20 and 5, we can get 20 from here. But then we need to eliminate 10 and find 0, 5. So we need to find index of 2005 over 2010 because we want to eliminate 10. Or if we can get index 10 over 0, 5. Anyone is okay because later on you will uh, eliminate this 10. So you see here, before this we have calculated, you can see in B, so it is mentioned that index of 2010 over 2005 is 83. 
so we can just use this value so you see here i 20 over 10 is equal to q 20 over q 10 times 100 is equal to 105 so if you want q 20 q 20 is equal to since we want this one we bring everything to this side so 105 times q 10 divided by 100 and for this case we have this one right so i 10 over 0 5 is equal to is equal to so q 10 over q 0 5 times 100 so you see here since we only want to find q 0 5 so here we get q 0 5 we change place with this one so we get q 0 5 is equal to so this one is q 10 times 100 q 10 times 100 divided by 83 so here q 0 5 is equal to this one is q 10 times 100 divided by 83 so index of 2020 over 5 2005 is equal to q 20 which is 105 times q 10 divided by 100 divided by q 5 which is equal to Q 10 times 100 divided by 83 times 100 which is equal to now we can eliminate this Q 10 so 105 over 100 divided by 100 over 83 times 100 is equal to eighty seven point one five. so we get here 87.15